me tell you, for the remainder of this show, uh, you're going to be seeing some of our most exciting highlights from the first two years of Hot Seat on the Air. And David, you got to admit, we had a lot of action on action. this program. Did we have action? Desks upside down and everything else. You're going to see a little bit of that. Yeah. And hey, we even had celebrities show up on the program. Take a look. Standing at the podium to give his comment on this from the LA Dodgers, Steve Sachs. Yeah. Wally, yeah. I told myself I wasn't gonna get involved tonight, but I just can't help myself and I, I really I don't want to touch anything here. I don't want to stick to anything. I know the gentleman before me was there. <laughs> All right. But anyway, sorry. I want to say, how would these people feel if they're so much for this about their wife, their daughter, or their mother in this business? Yeah! Not only, not only is this business killing people physically, by this I mean they are spreading herpes, AIDS, which there is no cure for. If you get this, you're dead. You're hey, dead. How do you ask? Not only say, are they killing themselves physically, but they're killing the minds of America by watching this show. Yeah! accuse you of having a very dirty, filthy act. You use four-letter words. You, you, you say... A, a hey, Wally is a four-letter word, ain't it? Yeah. No. Wait. I say... Five. Hey, I'm illiterate, okay? Hey, shoe fly. Hey, that was supposed to be funny, okay? I say this... I mean, can you imagine if you had four letters? Uh, kiss, no. kiss my Wally. <laughs> <laughs> Difference between Grenada, St. Vincent, Santa Lucia. Hey, wait they a minute. Can I start the interview going? Nicaragua. They didn't know where Guatemala was. Hey, died. wait a minute. And they're going to die. Wait a minute. They're going to die in Central hey, America. Hey, Wally, let you and I have our own show here. To a charlatan like this, they listened to him. Now, wait a minute. And they cheered, and they went on like that. Now, remember that an old Marine told you that you were going to die. You are not coming hey. back from oh, Central hey, America wait a minute. alive. You will come back dead. Oh, over, over Don't here. forget Wally. it. The Marine Corps told you that. Remember that. Hey, listen to me. I don't listen to you. I've heard enough of you already. I'm telling you. Uh, I'm telling these young people. Yeah. And if you don't knock it off, I'm yeah. throwing you off personally. Is that now, so? do you hear that, Maureen, yeah. buddy? Yeah. Yeah. Well, All right. Listen. <laughs> and that, David, as you remember, is what set this program That's into orbit. really what got it started. And yeah. you know, the funny thing is, Blaise Bon Payne, as you recall, said he was a pacifist, and he's yeah. the guy who yeah. practically wrecked our studio. What do you think about that? He was, he's what's known as a militant pacifist. A militant pacifist, yeah. right. Okay, now, we, we had more action, David, mm -hmm. as you, and we're gonna uh -huh. play a little more for you right now. I wonder if you remember, I know I do, we had Sylvia, Sylvia, the gal who makes X-rated pornography cakes. Sylvia. Sinful Sylvia. What do your, what do your mother and father think about this wonderful, uh, ludicrous business? Ludicrous business. Uh, what do your parents think about, about this, this business that you're in? 
It's successful, so they're happy. She taught me how to bake cakes. But not the way you bake them, honey. We'd like to show you one of our cakes. Plus, we have a sample cake for you. A sample cake? creature standing behind you. You will... Hold it. You will address him as Rolo, my personal bodyguard. And the reason... The reason... He Wait a minute. Don't tell me how to address him. I'll address him... I'll address him as Nitwit. That's what he is. That's another area. First, first of all, oh. hey, first of all, I just want to state it doesn't really matter what they plan to do with the CIA. Nothing has been done. America is being held prisoner. And second of all, mentioning the sick bed is a very good possibility. There is really no bottom line actual empirical proof that Reagan has even has cancer or has even had surgery. It's all a manipulation to get the American people oh. having their stand behind them. For you, and as for you, pal, I think you're a spineless wimp too. What do you say about that? You are obviously, you are obviously a wonderful man of God who is spreading the word of love and and all of that because you wrote me. You wrote me a wonderful Christian letter, and, and, and let me uh, read to you a little portion of this wonderful Christian uh, thing that this pastor uh, had to send to me. And he said, in part, I just watched your show, regrettably, for a few minutes. You are obviously a plastic, insincere phony. How about that? Huh? <laughs> And then this wonderful, uh, uh, God-loving pastor, he says, what do you do besides collect a fat salary and drive an expensive car? And then the intellectual genius over here, he signs off his letter saying, I think you are a wimp. Isn't that good? Oh. Say it isn't so, Pastor. I'm not going to say it isn't so. I think it's the truth. I think you're leading these people astray. Oh, uh, wait a minute. You think I'm leading... I think, you're I... Leading, I think you're leading them astray because you're leading them to believe that Ronald Reagan and conservatism can save America, and that's a lie. Oh! Now, hold on. Now, I, I, voted, I voted for Reagan hold before on. you were born. Hold on. I voted for Reagan last time, but he's not going to save America without God. Hold on. You have to have God to have America Hold on, saved. Pastor. You're not in your church. You're on my show now. <laughs> While we have a couple of minutes here, Go ahead. I understand that you and, and Miss Natural will do some exercises. Right. We're going to play some music and let them do their exercises. Here they go. Go on. Go ahead, Gypsy. Go ahead.
Gypsy Boots, you remember him? Yeah. And Miss Natural. I didn't think I was ever going to get rid of her. I'll tell you. to throw him off the show. Hey, stay tuned. We're coming back, and you're going to meet some real characters from the first two years of Hot Seat. Don't go away. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm George Baker, and I'm a Hollywood stunt pilot. Flying is my life. But my life was out of control. I, I mean, can you really, really sit there and tell me that you believe in the theory of evolution, that, that we all came from monkeys? We, as evolutionists, do not believe that we came from apes. We believe that we evolved from a lower form of man. That and was you are the lowest form of man I've ever seen. <laughs> Nobody says you have to raise that child. There are plenty of people who would adopt that child and give it a good home. That's true, and that may be, Wally, but are you a woman? Have you ever laid there for eight and a half hours of hard labor and given birth to a child and then oh, not be no, human no, no, to no, give no, it away? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Have you ever had an abortion? Yes, I have. How many have you had? I've had four. Four. 